Hey y'all, Matt here from RetroOnly.com. Today we're going to be answering another question about the Nintendo Switch. And that question is, how can you use a Switch to get online using either Google or getting onto an internet, internet browser, those sorts of things. And can you do that with the Switch or not? Well, the answer to that is yes, you can, but it's a little bit more difficult than simply downloading an app. A lot of us are used to simply clicking an app on our smartphone to go online. And the Nintendo eShop has all sorts of apps. So you would expect to be able to go online right through one of those apps. Unfortunately, there is no browser app for the Nintendo Switch. So if you're looking to get online with your Switch and just browse the internet, maybe check out a website, look at a variety of different videos, those sorts of things, then this video is for you as I will show you how to do that right here on the TV. So rather than me rambling on and on about that, let me go ahead and show you how that works. Before I get to that, please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out in showing this video to a lot of other people all around YouTube and even all around the internet who have this exact same question about their Nintendo Switch. So we really appreciate it if you'd like this video and then subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead and hop into the TV and I'll show you exactly how you can get online, go to Google and those sorts of things with your Nintendo Switch console. All right, so here we are inside of the Nintendo Switch and I'm gonna show you how you can get to Google or how you can browse the internet or do basically anything that you want. Now, there are some limitations on this as this browser is kind of a backdoor browser. So not every single website will work on this. For example, Netflix doesn't work using this method. Um, you also can't go to like Disney Plus, those sorts of things. I did other videos on those and explained how exactly they don't work. But you can browse the internet. You can go to pretty much any website that you want to. Um, browse videos, just go to Google and search, those sorts of things. So you're gonna go to System Settings. Then you're gonna scroll down to internet. Then you're gonna to go to internet settings. Once you're doing that, it's gonna search for all the networks and you're going to choose your network, the one that I'm currently using is set up. So I'm gonna do that. And then you're gonna to go to change settings. Scroll down here to DNS settings and you're gonna change that from automatic to manual. And then these will be all zeros. So then what you're gonna do is after you've got all zeros, you're going to change that. So you're gonna go into it and you're going to backspace or you can simply push B and you're going to erase all of those zeros out of there. And that's the step one. Your next step now is going to be to enter in this DNS number. So you're gonna type in 045.055.142.122. And you're just going to do this for the primary DNS number. And then you're gonna go over and click OK, or you can simply push the plus button as well. The secondary DNS you're gonna go ahead and leave as all zeros. And then you're gonna go over to the right hand side and click save. Your settings will now be saved and then you're gonna go connect to this network. It'll take a second to go from the console to network device, and then it'll normally take between 30 and 45 seconds to give you a red X between the network device and the internet. So we'll go ahead and, and cut that out, and we'll hop back in once we're showing that red X between those two devices. All right, so now we have the red X between both the network device and the internet, so now you're gonna push A for next. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have another box pop up, and this is going to take you to that DNS settings which is exactly where you want to go. And right here, you've got continue to Google. So just simply move your cursor onto continue to Google like that. And you are now able to search on Google. So you can search for anything in the world that you'd like to search for. Um, right here on Google, you can just go, let's just go Nintendo. And let's say you want to search for that. And then you're just going to push the A or the X or the plus button, sorry, for the accept, and then plus again to actually search. And so now you're able to search right on into, on Google for news, videos, images, etc. This obviously isn't the most user-friendly browser, but you can do it right on your Switch. So you can see all the different images. You can do videos as well, if you'd like. And so you can see all these different videos. Um, let's go ahead and go into this one on YouTube here. Just a random video when I typed in Nintendo. And as you can see, I'm gonna push play. That, sometimes it doesn't work. It really does vary depending on like which browser you're going onto or which video you're going onto. And then YouTube also has a tendency to not work the best in the world as well. So I pushed B there. I went back to this screen. So instead of finding one on YouTube, let's go to this one here on Facebook. And since this isn't a full featured browser, there will sometimes be issues. You can use it to browse the internet. You can use it for virtually every website but videos aren't always gonna play right. Um, if you, you know, GIFs might, might not work exactly right. So obviously here I'm on Facebook, you can just scroll down and let's go ahead and hit play here. And again, this feature isn't available. So it does vary. 
it depends on how they're uploaded. You know, this that one's probably uploaded via YouTube or something like that, so that's why it doesn't work. Um, but you can scroll around on Facebook, you can log into Facebook, so you can basically access the internet, but as I said, not everything will work exactly right. And that's because this isn't a full featured browser, it's just through the DNS. The Switch doesn't actually have any browsers, like you can't go to the Nintendo eShop and download a browser or anything like that. This is the only way for you to really access the entire internet via the Nintendo Switch is by going through this backdoor setting. So, and again, you can go to all, let's just go back here. And so let's just go read an article about the N Nintendo Switch. And then here's an article on a website about the Nintendo Switch. So you can use your Switch um, to access the internet. It will be slower, even if you have fast internet, which I do, it will be slower than what it'll be on, say your smartphone or other devices but you can use your Nintendo Switch to access Google, search on Google, access the internet, access the browser, whatever you need to do. You can do it right here on the Switch. And again, I'm just using B to go back to the previous screen. So if I didn't like that article or that story, I can continue to scroll down. And you can literally just search right here at the top on Google and search for anything in the world that you like. Um, you can do B to, B to erase it and start from scratch or whatever that's, that is. So again, my name is Matt. I'm from RetroOnly.com. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below on this video. Also, feel free to check out our website, RetroOnly.com. We have all sorts of uh, information about the Switch, about all kinds of other retro gaming consoles, such as the N64, the original NES, um, NES Classic, all those sorts of things as well. And then also feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. helps other people see our videos as well. Again, my name is Matt. Have a great day.